What's up guys? Welcome back. This is part two of Alphabet Pond. So the first, so the first version we saw we can do it inside. Now we're going to see two examples of how we can use this game outside. So the first one we're going to be using a basketball, the first example, and a second example we're going to be using a partner and an object that you can throw and catch with. So to set up outside the outside version of Alphabet Pond, you're going to write the letters with chalk on the ground in a random formation. It's going to look like this. So to use a basketball in this activity, first we're going to draw a start line. And it doesn't matter where the start line is, it can be far from the letters, it can be closer to the letters, it's all how you, difficult you want to make it. Once we draw the start line, then we're going to stand on the start line and start dribbling the ball to the Alphabet Pond. Once we get to the Alphabet Pond, we're going to touch the letter that of the word that we're spelling, the first letter of the word that we're spelling, and then dribble back to the start line and do it again for the next letter and you're going to keep on going until you spell that word. So if I'm spelling the word run, I'm going to start on the start line, dribble the ball all the way to the letter R, touch the letter R, go back to the start line, dribble again to the letter U, and so on until you spell that word. So before we get started in our basketball example, I'm actually going to show you the proper way to dribble the basketball. So when we dribble a basketball, we're going to use the, the, the pads of our fingers. So that's right here. That's the portion of your finger right here. What we don't want to use is a palm because that'll give us less control. So when we are using the pads of our fingers, we're going to put it on the ball and we're going to push down on the ball and the ball is going to come up to our hip level. We don't, so it's going to come up just to here, nice and controlled. We don't want to bring the ball all the way up to our shoulder because that's going to give us less control and it'll be easier for the defender to get the ball. So what we want to focus on is pushing down with the pads of our fingers on the basketball and as it comes up, you're just pushing right back down. Here's an example using the word dribble. catching version of Alphabet Pond. In this version, you're going to need one partner and there's going to be two roles. The two roles are the thrower and the catcher. Now, you're going to start out as one of the roles, either the thrower or the catcher, and the thrower is going to throw the ball from the start line to the catcher. The catcher is going to be, to be standing on a letter, but the letter is going to be the letter of the word that you're at. So if I'm spelling run and I'm the catcher, I'm going to be standing on the letter R and the thrower is going to throw me the ball. When the thrower throws me the ball and I catch it, then we're going to switch roles. So now I'll be the thrower and I'm going to run to the start line and the, the thrower then will be the catcher and they're going to stand on the letter U all the way until we spell the word run and you must successfully catch and throw the ball before moving on to the next letter. Now if you want to challenge yourself, you can time yourself, see how fast you can go and then try to beat that score. version of Alphabet Pond, we worked on dribbling and throwing and catching with a partner.